and sad for um, the family, for the region, uh, for um, for the people there that are all that are going through this, and both in Syria and in Turkey. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a lot more personal because it, it, it's my they're my family. State Senator Melissa Hurtado shares tonight the powerful quakes hitting Turkey and Syria hit very close to home. She says her in-laws were able to make it out safely from their home in Turkey, just a few hours away from where the first earthquake struck. They've since been displaced, we understand. The Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco spoke with Senator Hurtado today and fills us in through her family's lens. What did she tell you, Myra? Monty Liz Hurtado says her husband's family lives in the city of Batman, Turkey, where they felt the powerful earthquakes. She says they're used to small earthquakes, comparing them to the ones that we feel here in the Central Valley, but she says never felt a quake so powerful as the one they just survived. This is by far the worst that they've ever experienced and have felt that they made it out of the building, but the damage is pretty bad. Senator Melissa Hurtado walks us through the lens of her in-laws after a 7.8 earthquake rattled their home in the city of Batman in Turkey. They were woken up by the, the earthquake itself was really, really strong and they felt that the building that they live in began to, to sink down. So they grabbed what they could. They started, you know, running towards the outside of the building. They didn't know where to go. Scrambling out four in the morning, not knowing where it's safe to go. Of course, transportation is, is limited. And, uh, you know, right now they can't go out of the city. No one can really come in. The roads are kind of you know, divided and torn by this earthquake. It's just damaged roads. It's damaged homes. It's damaged so much. Carrying just the items they grabbed when they left their home. The first earthquake hit about a seven hour driving distance from where they live. The second struck just five hours away. It was felt all around. Hortado's husband is currently in Istanbul and also felt the quakes a 14 hour driving distance from his parents' house. Even after his parents relocated for a third time, they still felt unsafe as they fear for the unknown. And they didn't feel that that building itself was uh, safe to be in. And so they ended up going from there to uh, to her daughter's home. And, uh, and, and they didn't feel safe there either. Uh, they still don't feel safe. You know, the worst part of it all is that, you know, you think you've, um, you've seen the worst. And then, you know, hours later, you, there's another one equally powerful that hits the region. So they were worried about an additional, a third uh, uh, earthquake aftershock of the same magnitude. Hurtado says her in-law's house is still standing, but it's just not safe for them to return. Local authorities are not also not allowing people to go back to their homes. Right now, she says people are being advised to limit their phone use and to use it only for emergencies. In one area, Hurtado says they're completely out of gas. The earthquake caused a gas pipe explosion, leaving families homeless. Others without a heater where it's cold and snowing. She also says they have other family members who are unaccounted for at this time, Liz Monty. We are glad to hear that they made it out of their initial building safely. Thank you, Myra.